वेलकम वंस अगेन दिस इज पार्ट टू ऑफ सेलेनियम वेब ड्राइवर सीरीज विथ सी शार बायो वन टेस्ट सोल्यूशन इन दिस सेशन वी टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू कन्फिगर फायर बग एंड फायर पाथ नाउ द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट कम्स टू माई माइंड इज वाई वी नीड दिस फायर बग एंड फायर पाथ ओके सो एनी ऑटोमेशन फॉर एनी ऑटोमेशन टूल वी नीड टू हैव केपेबिलिटी टू स्पाई और टू locate the web elements okay for example if we talk about qtp so qtp will have uh, its own spy if you talk about the microsoft tool um, let's say coded ui then in coded ui there is a coded ui test builder that provides a capability to locate the web elements okay by which we extract the properties which we in fact use to write our uh, test or a script since selenium is not a tool it's a plugin so we need to find out a mechanism by which uh, we can actually locate the ui elements so firebug is is basically a add on which can be integrated to firefox browser okay so how to do it so let's go to firefox and in firefox open this menu option in menu you will see an option called as add ons okay in add ons page click on extension now here search for fire bug fire bug okay hit enter now you see here there is an add on that will get populated now this add on can be added to firefox uh, browser just click on install and it will get installed okay once it gets installed it will come here on the top okay so let it gets installed here okay now you see this is a fire bug okay if you want to deactivate it you can disable this as well okay now let's see the advantage of this okay now let's say if i want to spy these elements let's say this uh, web services hyperlink or this buy video all these okay so just click on this once you click this you will see this editor okay here click on this icon and just go and mouse over on the elements that you want to spy so let's say i want to spy this login Just mouse over this and click. Okay, now here you will see it basically extract its um, properties. For example, this is a. It talk. It's a uh, a refers to hyperlink. Then its ID is this, and then there is another attribute href. Okay, so this tool actually this uh, add on helps locating the web elements. Uh, or finding the properties of a web element okay let's see if i want to spy this enroll so just click on this and just drop on this enroll okay now you will see again this it is a tag what this tag is uh, and what is this href uh, i will explain in a bit okay but now with this utility or this add on we are able to uh, spy these web elements okay we can spy image or anything that comes in a web page we can spy using this okay now next thing is fire path why we need fire path basically is um, in selenium there is one locate strategy um, by which we can actually find the web element okay uh, it's we can actually uh, find uh, any web element using xpath what exactly xpath is how to use xpath or how to build a custom xpath all that we will see once uh, we proceed to this series okay but at this point in time what i will do is i will go ahead and at least add on this uh, fire uh, path as well again i will do the same thing click on uh, menu option then go to add ons and search for fire path fire path 
after now you see this fire path add-on has appeared okay click on install and it will get installed now you have to make sure to restart browser once the fire path is installed so i will go ahead and restart this okay Okay, it's been restarted now let's again go and spy and I will show you that uh, what how this fire path works okay now you see here once you click on this fire bug you see now another tab has come a fire path okay if let's spy any element let's say this one test solution now, if you go here fire path you will see the X path of it okay select this and let me spy let's say this home corporate training one test solution now you see able to see the x path how to use x path what exactly it is that anyways we'll talk about later okay now next thing that we need to understand is this html tags or the elements okay so let me go and extract the source of this page so i will go to developer tools and here page source now if you look at this page source basically all this is made up of HTML elements okay for example dev then s3 headings and all that okay now this class so what we need to do is using this uh, uh, firebug when we spy we find basically these properties okay now let's say I will go and spy this again uh, this link login okay now if you go, come here you will see this starts with a tag called as a okay now one thing is clear that for every element or every web element in fact there will be a tag name okay so tag is tag name for hyperlink is a for uh, label it can be label for combo box or list box it can be select so accordingly you will find this tag now there is another attribute here called as id but this id attribute may be an optional attribute because for every control or every web element you may not find this id okay next attribute is basically this um, href okay now this href reference to this particular url okay this href is again a mandatory attribute for example if you go to click on this login and you go spy this email okay now here you see type is equals to text now type is equals to text again it's a mandatory attribute okay here the tag type uh, tag name is input its id is email okay now this here you see name is equals to email now name is again an attribute but it it is not mandatory it can be optional for example same like class class can also be an attribute but again it's an optional attribute it's not mandatory but this type is going to be mandatory okay how to use these attributes and all that that once we start writing the selenium web driver test then we will see in detail which attribute needs to be used in order to locate or uniquely identify a particular web element okay so we have seen how to install the firebug it is used to spy web elements in a firefox browser firepath used to find the x path of a web element we have also seen the page source the page source is nothing but a composition of the html attributes it has few main uh, sections one for the tag name uh, for hyperlink it, it will be a for input box it will be input label select and likewise there are few mandatory att attributes that we have seen href where it was referencing to another url it's a mandatory attribute then type is equals text or type is equals to something else maybe will be a mandatory attribute 
Additionally, any HTML component will have may have some optional attribute as well. For example, ID, class name, name, these may be additional attributes. So using all these different type of HTML attributes, we have to find, we have to basically build our locate, locator strategy. Okay. At the end of the day, we have to ensure that we are able to uniquely identify any particular element in a web page. Okay. So that's why these HTML attributes becomes important and uh, also we need to understand it very clearly why and when we need to use what. Okay. All right. Thanks for uh, watching this. Go ahead and subscribe uh, One Test Solution at YouTube for free videos and latest updates. Thank you.